Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Saturday morning, and today we are talking a lot of lacrosse. A lot of lacrosse stuff has happened over the past couple of weeks, so might as well talk about it today because the Mento Cup ended last night, and the WLA Finals ended last night, so we're talking about this stuff this morning, so, <laughs> you know. It's going to be a very interesting um, discussion today, um, at least for me, uh, because there's a lot to talk about, and there's a lot of stuff that's still up in the air. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to, you know, get too mad at it, at least not right now, at least not right now. But, yeah, let's start in Junior A. Let's start with the Minto Cup as the Coquitlam at Nats defeat the Orangeville Northmen two games to none in the 2024 Minto Cup Championship, with game one being 14 to seven, and game two being nine to six in favor of the At Nats, of course. And you know, Joyce Bellino was held to zero goals in one of these games, which is insane to me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty. Uh, you know, I wish you could watch the games, you know. Wish I could watch them. And that's kind of why I'm still kind of leaning towards no. Do I want to talk about the Mental Cup next year? Probably not. But at the same token, hopefully next year these games are streamed for free. You know, I know a lot of people, you know, have been, you know, kind of yapping back and forth, you know, about, you know, well, the Mental Cup needs to be more accessible to viewers. And yeah. That, that is definitely true. Or, you know, the, the the CLL got the World Junior Indoor Championships, you know, on TSN and stuff like that, but they're not legitimate. And it's like, at least somebody has something, you know, on, you know, an actual service that people can get easily. Nobody is paying $125 for a damn, you know, you know, for a damn, you know, eight, eight, nine game playoff, you know, with the round robin and then, you know, the semifinal and then, you know, it may be two, three, nobody's paying $125 for 10 games. It, it's 2024. We should not be doing that. We really shouldn't be. I don't, I don't care. I don't care what, you know, Western Canada wants. <laughs> I care about growing this game, man. I care about growing this game. And this is not the way to grow the game because nobody's buying, you know, pay-per-view tickets. Nobody's buying $125 pay-per-view games for 10 games. That's like $12.50 a game. That's a ripoff, you know, for watching a single game on pay-per-view. That's a ripoff. It's a ripoff. Now that would be way more warranted if I were actually going to, you know, you know, if I were going to like one of these arenas. But am I going to one of these arenas? No. So basically, at the end of the day, it's real simple. And I'm doing this same kind of yapping, but still, we should be able to watch across more easily and more accessibly. Locked behind the paywall is not going to cut it. I'm sorry. Anyway, but yeah, the, the yeah, the Minto Cup is done, so now we can focus on the man. The man cup race is pretty simple. Um Victoria, the Shamrocks who went undefeated in the regular season, they did lose a game in the playoffs. I don't know when, but they did lose a game. But they didn't lose in the finals, though, as they defeat the Langley Thunder four games to none and will advance to the Man Cup to take on either the Six Nations Chiefs or the Peterborough Lakers, who are locked at a 2-2 tie. Game five is tomorrow night. Game six will be the 27th of August. That will be Tuesday. And if need be, next Thursday will be game seven. So 2-2 tie right now in the MSL finals. So it's going to be a crazy time, 
you know, you know, seeing who's going to get to the final stage of the Man Cup. And the Man Cup races have not been extremely interesting. Like, these are pretty predictable results. Once Victoria, you know, went undefeated in the regular season, I kind of knew, yeah, this is the team that's going to go to the Man Cup. And then, you know, of course, of course, Six Nations and Peterborough are back in the MSL finals, you know. So, you know stuff there the PLO playoffs are going to start next um, on yeah next it's actually next week unfortunately it should be this week but of course we all know the PLO doesn't know how to do things right you know we all know the PLO doesn't know how to end their season at a time where they should end their season and it's the same thing with the WBA it's the same thing with stuff like IndyCar or golf still or you know it is what it is with that well, actually, not golf anymore, but you, the usual suspects of the summer. And the first round of playoffs will be Carolina, Boston, and the winner will take on Utah on next um, in a couple Saturdays. And then Maryland, Denver will be um, the later game. And the winner will face New York, and who will most likely be the MVP, Jeff T. You know, he will more than likely be the MVP in the PLO. If Blaze Reardon wins goalie of the year again, I am going to be absolutely livid. I just, I get it. He had the goal this year. I get that. But I just don't, I just don't see, I genuinely don't see the, the him being goalie of the year again this year. Because he, he, every time I watch him, he does not play like a goalie of the year, you know, half the time anyway. I'm always I'm, I've been way more impressed by guys like Brett Dobson this year or Liam Intiman, who you know has shined in his rookie year. Been way more impressed by those guys. Um, I don't really have a breakdown of these games because again, pretty much the entire playoffs is going to be locked behind ESPN Plus, and we all know I hate ESPN Plus. Um, but yeah, Carolina Boston's going to be on ESPN too. But again, it's like one game of the of the first rounds. Like, why, why, why are we doing this? But you know what? I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to get too mad because at least I will watch a championship game. I will at least watch PLL championship. I'm going to at least do that. Okay, I'm going to at least do that. Um, yeah, and the championship series for 2025 will be. Um, Boston, Utah, Maryland, and who was that last team again? I, I, I'm trying to be here. It's Boston, Maryland, New York, and Utah. Yeah, that should be our four. So, yeah, those are the four teams for the um, the 2025 championship series, which will more than likely be in February. This time, I will try to watch the championship series. I know, I know people kind of harp on me for, you know, kind of being, you know, or at least like, well, no, nobody harps on me because nobody really watches my lacrosse videos. So, you know, nobody gets to see my bad takes on anything. So, ha ha. Um, but yeah, 2025 championship series is set, but the real meat of the story here in the PLL is the playoffs and, you know, these these races for these um, awards. And now let's get into the last part. Let's get into the last part real quick. It's the NLL. The free agency will open up in a few days. In fact, it will be next Thursday as well. But there's some things we got to work out first. Of course, Panther City is the team that is in question. Um, we do not know. What in the world is going to happen to Panther State? More than likely, the team is going to die in some way. The team will either just fold or they will get sold and relocated somewhere. A lot of cities have been thrown around. Again, a lot of cities have been thrown around, and the situation has been very, very fluid. The NLL has not done a great job of really, you know, Addressing that, they're, they're, they're championing it up, you know, the fact that they're, you know, you know, trying to look stronger as a league, but there's a team in turmoil right now. Who cares about, you know, oh, well, who's going to streak? 
well, who's streaming these games? You know, we're having the best time streaming the games. No, that does not matter right now. What matters is there's a team with about 20 guys on it that could die. And we're stuck with 14 teams. Yeah. So, like, something's got to give here. Like, come on. But also, Philadelphia's hired Ian Rubel as the head coach. Um, and um, McCready is going to be his assistant. Uh, so, Philadelphia's got some new guys. Um, and then, of course, you know, Austin Stotts. You know, this is an NLL nugget. Uh, you know, he's been playing lacrosse in Canada, but he hadn't been playing since August the 11th. He hadn't been playing for a couple weeks. And the reason why is he got arrested for various um, things, you know, including just being a general disruption. He's And he's been known at, over the past couple of years to be, you know, someone that doesn't play clean at all and – you know, I, he already got suspended half the season for just absolute nonsense during 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 the NL up and playoffs and stuff like that for you know just you know just high sticking the guy and you know for no reason you know just just attacking a guy for no reason off the ball play too and the fact that you know he's continuing to you know be violent. It's not a good look for anybody. It's not a good look for the Canadian leagues in the summer. It's not a good look for the NLL that does the winter and early spring. It's not a good look for anybody. So one would hope that, you know, the suspension is for the entire year, regardless, you know, if it's summer box or the NLL, he's probably, you know, just done in general. At least for right now, maybe he could come back. But honestly, a guy that does not know how to, you know, control himself shouldn't be playing in the NLL. That's just my thing, you know. Um, there's a couple other things, you know, you know that uh, I did want to talk about. I believe Rochester, you know, has a, you know, new um, group in place, and then the NLL blocked Adam Levy on Twitter, but. You know, that's, I was like, that's not really something that I care about enough to talk about. I'm like, you know, I get it. He's an NL insider and stuff like that. And he, you know, he reports on Lee and stuff like that. And he's been doing a great job at it, but it's like, come on. <laughs> this is Twitter nonsense yet again. But Rochester, again, I haven't really heard anything about it until the other day and then you know it's like the nll is not going to say anything they aren't saying anything and then i was going to check rochester socials but i'm like no i don't feel like doing that because they because i haven't seen anything about it so i haven't seen any posts about it so it's whatever like yeah I, I, i'm kind of just you know all over the place this morning because again you know things Things got very interesting due to the fact that we crowned a champ. We crowned two champions last night. We crowned the Mental Cup champion and we crowned the WLA champion last night. So, um, again, it's been hard to watch the Canadian box leagues for the most part. Like, and that's why I'm still kind of iffy. I'm, I'm, I did say no, but I'm gonna be gonna leave my options open there. So. Um, again, oh, if you have a ESPN Plus and you really want to watch Canadian Box, or rather not Canadian Box, the PLL playoffs on September the 2nd, which is a Monday, Labor Day, and then that's next Saturday, and then the next Saturday, not, not this upcoming Saturday, not this Saturday, not this next Saturday, but the Saturday after that on the 7th. Um, make sure you get your ESPN Plus subscriptions ready to go, and... You know, if you got Rogers TV, that's for the MSL. Um, I know they delay the games on YouTube and stuff like that. So, you know, they don't put them up live immediately. Like, they don't have live streams of the games. They'll put the games up, like, immediately after 90% of the time. And then, obviously, the Mental Cup is done. And nobody's paying $125 for 
you know, games that have concluded already. So, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Um, it, it's it been an interesting last couple of weeks, and I will see you again after the PLL Championship. So once the PLL Championship has concluded, we'll take we'll talk a little bit more, and we'll see how, you know, some more stuff has been confirmed because the NLL schedule needs to be drafted as well. And, again, it's a lot of stuff that's in flux because of Panther City in the NLL. So, yeah, the, That'll do it for me. Y'all take care, and I'll see you on Tuesday to talk college football week one.